All right, too. Black is here. I have a story for you all. All right. I'm going to put a link to the video so you can find the video. I don't remember the guy's name, but I will put a link. If, I, if you don't see a link, remind me. Anywho, I'm watching this video. There was a YouTuber who's talking about he has, I forgot what year. I, I think it was 2016, 15, 17, I forgot, whatever. It was a Volkswagen, I think he said it was a GTI 1.8 Turbo, whatever. He bought the car used with 36,000 miles, all right? He, you know, he bought the car, he took care of the car, he said he kept up with the maintenance, and at six or some thousand miles, the car started leaking water. The um, dealership fixed the leak, and then at 87,000 miles, the engine goes out. He loses number two cylinder, has no compression. So he takes it back to the um, Volkswagen place, and even though he's 27,000 miles past the warranty, he feels that they should fix the engine because 87,000 miles is too soon for you to need an engine, which it is. 87,000 miles is way too soon for you to need another motor. But, of course, Volkswagen is not going to replace the motor. He's a little pissed because they won't help him fix the car. Well... This is another example where I say you come out better if you buy your car brand new. Now, here we go. You got a whole bunch. Whenever you say something about buying a brand new car, you get a whole bunch of people want to repeat what they heard somebody else say. What I mean, the people who want to cry depreciation. It's stupid to buy a new car. As soon as you drive off the lot, you lose 20% to depreciation. Yeah, but check this out. You go out and buy a car used with 36,000 miles, you don't know who drove that car for 36,000 miles. You don't know. You don't know if the person went 18,000 miles before they changed the oil the first time. You don't know if that person went to a, I don't know, Jiffy Lube, and they were putting the wrong kind of oil in there. You don't know. You don't know if they were putting cheap oil in there. You don't know. You don't know if that person... I got a neighbor who has a car. It didn't really matter what kind of car. I see this neighbor crank up a car, bag out the driveway, and go up the street, sound like she full throttle. I mean, you see water and, I guess, condensation just blowing out the tailpipe like crazy because she don't let the car warm up. She just crank it up, by, bag out the driveway, and haul butt up the road. I see people do it all the time. Now, some people will say, well, it, a car needs to heat up quick. Every car I've owned, I let the car run. Even in the summertime, I will let my F-150 run at least five minutes to heat up the engine. Also, I'll give you another example. Some years ago, I was talking to a customer who bought a F-150 with an EcoBoost. He got it with like, I think he said it had... It was either 30 some thousand or 50 some thousand. It was right in that, right in that area. But anyway, he bought an F-150. And then at 105,000 miles, the engine started clacking. Something about the timing belt got loose. He took it to Ford, and the Ford told him that the engine had sludge in it. So he was like, no, no, my engine don't have sludge in it because I changed my oil when I was supposed to change it. But guess what? He bought the truck used. He don't know what them people did before he bought it. This is why I say you need to buy a new car. Do, if you can afford to buy a new car, buy a new car. If you can't, of course, buy used cars. Buy what you can afford. But I'm telling you, in all this, think about it. Okay, I left out a part. The guy who bought the Volkswagen, they paid $3,500 for a dealership to put a motor in there, and then they traded it for a new car. Okay, that $3,500 he spent on getting a new motor put in, isn't that part of his depreciation? Just say if he had a bought the car brand new, he wouldn't have had to put a motor in and he wouldn't have had to spend $3,500 to put a motor in. But I, like I said, from now, I, I would go to auction. I would buy used cars, but 
If I can afford to buy a new car, I'm buying a new car. I don't I don't want even if the car only has 10,000 miles on it, you don't know how that person drove. You don't know how that person drove in 10,000 miles. I think you come out better just buying a new car. But then again, I'm just a dumb truck driver. It's Dre. Y'all have a good day. Bye.